Today we're going to be talking and reviewing the Coleman Red Trip Grill LXE, I think it is. GXE, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll put a link in the description down below. But it's um, ultra portable, it's on wheels, it folds, you can slide it into your car, problem free. Um, it's gas, it also takes the small butane gas bottles. Um, if you don't have a car or a backpack, I mean, you wouldn't take this backpacking, but it's on wheels, so it's easy to transport. Um, it's got two burners um, with grill plate for your steaks and then on the other side it's got um, like a plate for your eggs, I don't know, bacon, sausages, oh you would just sausage on here but yeah just for your other stuff, fish would be a good one that you can use on that. Okay so um, we have used it before, uh, we've used it a numerous amount of times actually, um, just for the beach, parks, um, Australia Day barbecues and birthday parties, Christmas lunches and that. So you can tell it's been worn a little bit here. But um, just to show you guys what's under there, so you've got two gas burners, um, an oil plug for gas to just drip down. Um, I tend to put a aluminium foil, yeah I'll show you the back of the barbecue so it's got a little mount here um, for your butane I think you've got to push this up and that moves around latches on um, and then connects through but I don't have one so what we're going to do is just use this connection which comes with the barbecue just screw that in cylinder Left-handed thread. The other way. There you go. That's it. That's pretty much ready now. All right. So we're gonna start cooking some food. First, open the gas all the way. Next, we're gonna open the top lid. Um, another cool feature which I haven't, I haven't mentioned yet, um, two little slide out trays to put whatever, your plates, your food, your beer, your drinks, um, and also three little hooks to put your tongue, spatula. Alright, so gas is on, um, plates off, I'm gonna turn on the gas on low, turn it on, first go, starts. Um, you can get you can control it on low for your slow cooked meals or if you want to burn your stuff, keep it on high. So we'll get the, this thing warmed up. It doesn't take long, two or three minutes. Um, show the other side as well. Same thing, turn the gas on, a few clicks, and she's on. All right, we've got our food there. Opening this, nice and hot, it's been about two and a half, it's probably three minutes. Um, first step, we're going to spray. Feeds the purpose of tongs. All right, quick update. Been on for three minutes. Um, I've just done one side of them. So, um, doing a stopwatch just to see how long it takes to cook some skewers, there's 12 in total, so yeah, 3 minutes and 15 seconds from now. Alright, it's been 12 and a half minutes in, um, I've turned them twice, um, still cooking quite well, so you can see that, it's looking quite brown, that's using the two plates. Um, so 13 minutes in and they're almost done. So maybe another three to four minutes it should be done. Now just to show you guys, the viewers, um, this is a view from my balcony. Um, 
got a pool over there which you can't really see. That's the bonsai which I filmed and made still alive, which I'm surprised. And the barbecue. Uh, almost done. Turned about on all sides. And 18 and a half minutes in, it's looking good. Um, just about done, I think. A few more seconds. I'll take it off and we can enjoy. But overall, great little barbecue. Would recommend to buy if you're looking for a cheap travel option and you can just throw in your car. Um, light, easy to carry. Bonus thing, it's on wheels there. Holds up, you can throw it in the hatchback if you have one. You don't have to have a big car. And you can have barbecue, a great barbecue when you're out with your friends. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just a quick video on the review of this Coleman barbecue. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to our channel.